Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Dreyzorg Rifle Parts. Now if you'll remember, I picked this up way back, uh, quite a long time ago, back in Japan. And this, is, this set was originally intended for the RG Wing Zero EW, but uh, you can also use it now with the Wing EW, and I'll be showing you both of those as I've reviewed both of those kits now. I can show those to you uh, with this rifle set. Uh, everything that you need for the Wing Zero was included with this set, but with the Wing EW, you got an extra part that you'll need to attach these parts onto that particular rifle because the rifle's uh, shaped a little bit differently. Here we have just the rifle by itself. You can use this with a, pretty much any 1144 scale kit, uh, a high grade or real grade, as long as it has a hand to hold onto the handle. It just has the one main handle there on the back. And then this sort of three barrel uh, system coming out the front. Honestly, not really too into the design. It's not really to my particular taste. It looks like something out of like Double O or Gundam Age or something like that. Uh, it's not too bad, and I think it would look cool with the right setup. But uh, I'm just going to review this here for you guys today. What you're going to get with the set is just this main rifle here, which you can see, which is probably going to be a little bit on the heavy side. Uh, but then on here, you can take off these three parts. They just slide into there on there. And then the handle, each one has its own individual handle, which just uh, rotates down like that. And then each handle has its own little peg on there which you can use for pegging into the hand of the Wing Zero. I believe uh, one of these, uh, one is different and two are the same. So let me slide these other ones out just to check that. You can see uh, some of them, one has the peg on this side, one has the peg on this side, and the third one has the peg on that side. So two are gonna be uh, with the peg on the side for holding it in the left hand, one is with the peg on the side for holding it on the right hand. So you could hold like one in each hand, like that if you did want to have just as the individual rifles, something like that. Then we have four pieces here which are just for connecting this stuff onto the rifles. Uh, I'll just put that to the side. Then we have these two parts, which are interesting. These two parts are actually uh, like brace pieces. You'll put these connected to the shoulder of the Gundam to basically help brace the weight of the arms holding this giant uh, cannons on the already giant beam rifle of the uh, Wing Zero or the Wing EW. So these are just basically like brace parts for those. And then we have a small like uh, stand here. Now this basically on the end has an action base connector that you'll just attach onto the end of here and that is what you'll actually attach up underneath the rifle so you'll be using uh, this piece here which goes up underneath the rifle and then it's going to slide into here one or one way or the other if I can get it there we go not really slide so much as it is just clip onto there and then the rest of the rifle is on there you'll see that momentarily and then at the base here these parts if we take these apart you can actually use these uh, just as like a rack if you lay out the rifles and you can lay the rifles onto these parts like a sort of weapons rack, uh, not really all that interesting really. I don't know who's ever really going to use that, but it is something that you can do with this. Now I did do an unboxing for this way back when, but just in case you guys did want to see, here's what the box did look like. Really cool there of the Wing Gunnam Zero EW. On the back just kind of shows you the kind of different names for different ways of how you're making it basically. Uh, with the actual Gundam's beam rifle in there, it's the Dre Dreyzorg Buster. And one thing that I, it says here on here, it does say that it came with the 2015 February uh, uh, edition of Gundam Ace Magazine. I wish it gave you the page number for what uh, page the instructions are on because here in the magazine, very huge thick Gundam Ace Magazine, again really awesome cover art there. Uh, it's hard to find where the instructions are. Even here on the on the cover, it doesn't give you a page number of where they're at. You need to go back here. I think it's in this section around here. There we go. It also doesn't help that the pages aren't numbered. But in case any of you guys are interested in seeing this, I'll try to give you a good look at the instructions. It is going to be relatively simple. 
Uh, and again, I'm pretty sure I showed this before. It's also going to show how to make the mount thing. There's the rifle rack I was talking about, and here's how to mount that extra piece into the shoulder there. Uh, but that's just a look at that. Now here's a look at what the rifle parts are going to look like attached onto the Wing Zero EW's big giant double beam rifle. Something like that. So it's really not too bad. Pretty cool. Now here is where I'm going to have some issue with this. Now the stand there that's included for the rifle puts it at the perfect height to be holding it straight out like this with the Gundam just standing on the ground. But the problem is if you want to have the Gundam up on an action base it's going to make the Gundam too high. Then you, what you need to do basically then is use uh, a second action base for just the rifle. So if you have something like, uh, I know like the Kotobukiya makes some Tamashi stands or something like that, some basically some kind of base with like multiple uh, arms, that would be probably what would be best for this. It's just kind of annoying. I think it, it takes a lot away from the look when you have to use a whole separate arm uh, or whole separate action base just for the rifle there. It really kind of draws away from the look of just how awesome it is and just like how big and uh, I don't know just like impressive it's supposed to look on there so that is kind of unfortunate I did try using like the braces on the back of the arms as well and I didn't really find them like to really be that useful so that's why I just kind of gave up um, they brace the shoulders fine but then like you have problem with the wrist sags and the elbow sags as well. There's really nothing much you can do about that. Unless I'm doing something wrong, which is totally possible, I suppose. But uh, as far as I can tell, just with uh, just experimenting a little bit, the sort of the uh, braces there at the shoulders are really not all that useful. Now if you want to use these with the wing Gundam EW rifle, this one, then it does come with a new piece there, that circular piece there in the center. You'll just clip the three of these onto here, like so, and then this clips up underneath the rifle in there, and there we go. That's it, very simple. And so there's going to be like two on the top and one on the bottom. It's going to look like this. I think it, uh, this bottom one's going to kind of like sag, and they're all just kind of going to sag on there a little bit, so not really as impressive as with the Wing Zero EW. I think your best bet is just going to be keeping this with the Wing Zero EW or just you're going to have to glue these and uh, make sure they're set in place so that they don't sag, just gluing them to that uh, centerpiece there. But um, I mean, it's okay, it's something. Now if you could uh, settle for not doing an action pose, you can always do something like this where they're just holding the gun down. Uh, it's not quite as exciting, but you know, it's, it's still there and it still has the big, huge, impressive gun with it. So, I mean, it's not too bad, still not going to look the greatest, but at least you're not having to use some sort of extra base just for the gun. So, that's pretty much going to do it for the review of this set. Um, just a reminder too, if you do have two of this set, then you can make a rifle uh, that has uh, six of those parts on it instead of just the three round. You can make one that has six. I don't think that will work on this one because that piece uh, only allows for three. But for the regular Wing Zero EW, for its uh, beam rifle, you can make one that has six parts going all the way around. You can do that too with just the rifle by itself, uh, if you have two of them not connected onto the Wing Zero's Buster rifle. Um, just the Dreiswerg by itself, uh, you can have that with six barrels if you have two of the set. So, that's kind of cool. I don't know, have any of you guys got this? It's been out for a long time now, and I suppose if any of you guys do want to get this now after seeing this review and you're thinking, man, that looks awesome, I really want to get one, you're probably going to have a little bit of trouble getting one. Uh, if you're living in Japan, I'm sure you could probably find some in like some secondhand stores for pretty cheap. Outside of Japan, though, probably your only options are going to be like eBay or trying to find someone that's selling them secondhand. Uh, so I don't know, if you're looking for one, just do some searching around online. I couldn't tell you, so don't ask me. Um, this one I'm going to be giving to a friend after this, so I know you guys are probably thinking like, why does he buy it if, if I keep saying in the review? Like, I don't really like it that much. I bought it just kind of on a whim, really. I was in Japan at the time when it was on sale, so I thought just buy it and review it for you guys. That was a long time ago. And uh, since then I've decided to give it to a friend of mine, so... Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching though. If you do have any other questions or comments, as long as it's not asking me where you can buy this, go ahead and leave those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.